What's up, everybody? Before the podcast does officially start, I want to let you guys know that I do have an official email for the Banks Cast podcast. If there's a certain topic that you want me to talk about, or even if there's questions that you want asked, all you have to do is email this email that's on the screen right now, askthebankscast at gmail.com. It'll also be in the, in the description below. So if you want to check it out, send an email and I'll talk to you guys uh, on it either on the solo podcast or even on the Thursday podcast. Take it easy, guys. Enjoy today's podcast. What is up, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of The Banks Cast. This is episode number 19 of The Banks Cast, and as you guys can see, we are doing something a little bit different. You can see on the screen, it is me and my boy, Riots, and it has been a while since I had a guest on The Banks Cast. I want to start making this a regular thing again, having somebody on the podcast on Thursdays and on Mondays being, you know, just solo, just by me, but like I said, as you guys can see, we have my boy, Riots, here on the screen today. How you doing today, my man? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Just been grinding out lately. Been crazy. Trying to trying to make the setup look good. It looks a little rough, but oh, we'll okay. I, I think it looks it though the how the background is. I like it a lot better than what the background used to be at the old place. Honestly, oh, what was it? yeah the the nice little bed and the the um, what was it the door right there and then yeah. The, Closet right there, yeah. I like this that. is right here, right here. How you have it is honestly perfect because you can set up the wall however you want it to be, make it look exactly. good. Just boom, just like specialize it to how whatever you want it to be. So I kind of exactly. like it. Yeah, exactly. That's good. That's good. All right, so let's hop into the questions. I actually stole this from uh, Optikex. I don't know if you watch his uh, podcast. Do, yeah. yeah, the eavesdrop. Uh, I like this question, and I think I'm gonna start asking. You know, basically everybody who is on here. So, uh, you, Riots, Blake, who are you today? Today is August first, two thousand nineteen. If some random person came up to you, or if you were in an interview and someone asked you this question, who are you today? How would you explain that to to everybody? Oh. Well, I'd say, hey guys, I'm Riots. I'm a uh, content creator slash streamer looking to uh, stream every day on Twitch. Uh, I have finally moved over to YouTube, so it's been a little while, but I'm picking up my roots back from YouTube. Uh, my dream is to be a full-time Twitch streamer. Uh, one day it will happen, I feel, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of time. Right. But my whole my whole dream is looking to be for getting like, sponsors like crazy. Um, my whole plan is I want to be a G, get a G Fuel sponsorship. Uh, a lot of also the the pop figures I have behind me, I want to try mm. and get that other one too. Uh, what, what I've always thought about is having my own like for my streams. I thought it'd be pretty cool if I had one. That'd be dope. Yeah, most definitely. So if uh, let's just say like here, let me look at my questions. Oh, this is actually perfect. Just going right into it, merging with the uh, the who are you today? Um, so before everything was what it is now, being riots or AKA riots, it started off as as Topaz. So can you just yeah. let us know, like inform us where uh, the AKA riots started, where Topaz started, where basically all of the names started, where, what was the first one and how it led up uh, to basically what it is right now? So the first thing that started with Topaz was, uh, Topaz is a Greek warrior um, from the old Greek times. Mm -hmm. uh, back then, he was like a Spartan slash like hitman, if you say like our time now. Uh, he was he was basically uh, his his I guess his god name was the Man of No Fear. Okay. So whenever I first started Twitch, uh, people were telling me it's going to be oversaturated. Don't do it. It's going to be rough. Just go do a mixer, grow on mixer. Right. Well, I was like, no, nah, man. I was like, I'm Topaz. I was like, I'm a warrior. I was like, I'll fight. I was like, what you have to do is, is people don't know, like, oh, I can just go into streaming and like, boom, there you go. Just I can be up. famous. I can right. be rich and blow up. No, it takes some time. It takes dedication. You have to be consistent. Uh, if you're not consistent on YouTube, like like how you do, if you're not consistent on Twitch, then no one's going to watch you. No one's going to be there for you. That's true. So that was with, uh, that was with what, Topaz, right? Or was that right? That was with Topaz. That was with Topaz. AKA riots was just just a random thing I thought of. Like mm -hmm. it didn't really mean anything. Uh, it was basically before my logo. It was a lion again, or right. it went from a from a sorry from a Spartan to a lion. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, like the lion was like uh, basically like I was the king of the lion cu the lion cubs. Basically, and right. That's what I would pick it as, and uh, I felt like I was like Simba, and like I'd have like all my streams like as like Lion King stuff, and then. Right, I just right, decided right. to change it one day, and now that's where that's where riots falls into play. And, right, yeah. uh, the one thing we didn't change with um, everything with the the viewership and the the followers and all the subs and everything and like all the people that stick around and watch me, mm -hmm. um, 
it's still riots, but they're still lion cubs. Oh, so you see, they're still my little lion cubs. That's what I like. It says with with basically you can check like any streamer, any streamer how it is right now. Uh, most of the big streamers, if they have a a Discord, their own little community, they have something from the the one thing that I can think off the top of my head is for courage. He calls the his people like the courageous squad or something like that yeah, courageous so i feel like it's always good to 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 be one with your you know with your community yeah, and exactly. and not just have them there as like you know some people call them fans you know uh some people call them family but whatever you do call them i feel like it's always good to have just that one spot that you can go to at the end of the day have all your you know community members there and just talk and just like be that be that one thing a huge community a huge family and I respect that. I like people who yeah, who, exactly. who stick by that and actually have that that exactly. community. So that's good that you decided to uh, to stay with the Discord because uh, yeah. uh, even though you know there's a lot of successful people here on Twitch, on YouTube, on you know whatever you might do, um, there's not really. Uh, I, I don't want to out nobody, but I will say there are people that aren't really genuine with it. And when it comes to like stuff like that, that's where I can kind of feel it's more genuine uh, to have, you know, a little community for those people and not just be like, whatever, you know, these people got me to here. I'm not going to, you know, do anything. I'm where I want to be. I don't care about these people. That's where it's like, you know, you those people. I really don't feel like it's genuine, but when it comes to stuff like where you're starting to, you know, appreciate the people who helped you get to the to the spot that you are at, that's what I like. That's where I get that little generous uh, little area yeah. from. So I appreciate it. I appreciate exactly. it. Exactly. It's like, it's like if you're getting if you if you if you're a streamer and you're getting like one to three to five to ten viewers, mm. cherish those viewers. Yes. Like cherish those viewers. Those are the ones that'll come back. Those are the ones that will stay with you. And over time, that 10 will turn into 20, that 20 will turn into 30, that 30 will turn into 40. And it'll just keep going on and on. And next thing you know, you'll have 100 people consistent. And right. that's when you'll hit your Twitch your Twitch partner. Oh, yeah, dude. It, it takes some time. It is a grind, but it is uh, well worth it. Uh, yourself, exactly. bo uh, both yourself and me, um, we're going through that right now. And, and it has been a grind since the start. And it'll continue to be a grind. But we'll have to see how uh, how everything does go. But, um, yeah, exactly. Going on to the next thing is uh, it's part of it's a two part question. Uh, the first one is going to be uh, why you started streaming in general. Like like what 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 was the the factor? Like some people you know you might say or some people might say you don't just wake up and just decide that you want to stream and it, it's usually a, a a series of events that come together. Whether it be you know you wanted to play basketball, you wanting to join the military, just something. I just want to know what was the the reason? What started? What were yeah. those deciding factors uh, that made you decide to when that one day came to get up? Guess what? I'm gonna become a streamer. What were those things? Yeah. So, um, what it was when I was about maybe about 13, mm -hmm. I started playing video games. I started having an Xbox. I the first time I ever streamed was on my Xbox. It was mm -hmm. with a Connect. So I was streaming uh, with a Connect. Remember and, those days? <laughs> but before that even happened, I was streaming with without a webcam, without mm -hmm. anything, and I was streaming straight from my Xbox to Twitch. Right. And um, a big a big part of it of streaming to me of like looking has always been courage because mm -hmm. I've watched him since I've actually started streaming right. and I've always been a big fact of him. And I'm always like, he's always looking at his streamer. He's always looking at his streamer friends. He's looking at his family. He's looking at his support team and his support people. And that's what got me into streaming is the support and the friendship and the, the everything you make out of it. Right. Well, so this is good. Uh, like I said, it goes back to the, the, what we were just talking about, uh, just keeping everybody together. Uh, so with that, um, uh dreamhack dallas uh, oh, okay, it was yes. it was a while back but uh with you starting to stream uh when dallas decided you know to start coming up i know there was something that you talked about a lot uh can you talk to us a little bit about dreamhack dallas what it's like for a uh, streamer or even just for somebody experiencing it uh for their first time oh man it was it was so fun it was absolutely amazing you get you get a fun little lanyard you get you, you have the choice of being just a, a guest and watching everything and just mm -hmm. watching all the people and you also have the choice of getting um like a little like you can do byoc so you can bring your own console and everything bring your own stuff so it's pretty cool that's dope uh so with um your experience there uh was there anything like out of the ordinary that that really um basically brought you to it to make you think maybe you know uh, the next time dreamhack dallas comes up or maybe another dreamhack you know uh event comes up that uh, that'll make you go again was there anything that, that that brought you to that realization of you know i like this and i'll probably go again uh meeting myth you met myth all the, all the myth uh i have myth signature and everything on my Damn. on my 
on my uh, mouse pad and everything. Uh, meeting the G2 team too, mm-hmm. the, the UK version team. It was amazing. Uh, I liked it and it was pretty cool. And like, he was like so open arms. And I was like, yo, Myth, how's it going, bro? I was like, you're the one that got me into Fortnite. I was like, your double pumps were crazy insane. <laughs> He's like, I appreciate you, dog. That's what's and, up. Uh, he's, he was telling me about how um, he's slowly growing back to what he was when he mm. was what he was. Right. Which, hey, I mean, it happens to the best of us sometimes that uh, that does happen. But um, going back to talking about, like, events, were, were there any and other events the, that you've the, been the, to? I haven't been to any other events. Mm. But uh, thing back towards the dream hack mm-hmm. was meeting all the other streamers. Mm-hmm. Like, I interacted with so many streamers. I got so many business cards. Like, I have pictures of, like, all these streamers I met on my, on my like, phone that I used to watch. Right. That I still watch to mm-hmm. this day that are just, it's just amazing. It's fun. It's, a, it's a definitely a, a fun event. Like uh, with um, with I, I don't know. Probably the people who watch me know. You probably know too. Like the main game that I play is Call of Duty, and yeah. I've never been to any type of event or anything like that. Uh, Call of Duty, not Call of Duty champs, but um, CWO Vegas has been here twice, and both times I was unfortunate to go. So hopefully I will be able to go uh, next time around. Uh, also this year, or not this year, but the the upcoming Call of Duty year, I'm gonna be able to go to Champs. I want to be able to go to Fort Worth and also Anaheim. So we'll see how that goes. Also, well, uh, if, oh no, go ahead. If you do end up coming down to uh, CWO Fort Worth, you can you know you can always hit me up and. We can go down together and we can watch of course, it and man. chill of course, out and man. get some in, 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 in IRL stuff. Oh, yeah, of like course. Some so. amazing in IRL stuff. And- yeah, I, have a, I have a lot of friends that are down there in uh, in Texas, so it, it would it would, it would would be awesome. But also there's uh, – I don't know if you're into, like, any fighting games or anything like that. Yeah. But uh, EVO is happening right now, and it's – or not right now. It's actually starting tomorrow, so it's the 2nd through the 4th. So I've never been to any event, and I honestly think I might go to EVO just to try to get that feel of an actual, you know – uh, uh, event that's something like that. So yeah. we'll see. Might have a vlog. Check out Banks Cast. You know, you know Tony Banks channel. Well, you're already on the channel, so later on you might see something coming from Evil. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, so going into the streaming, uh, I kind of layered all this stuff together, so it kind of you know intertwines one question after after the other. Um, the next question that I have for you is moving to Mixer. So I know uh, for uh, uh, a certain amount of time, uh, sorry, they did clip right there, um, you were on Twitch and you decided to move over to Mixer. So if we can talk about that a little bit, uh, your decision why to move over to Mixer, uh, why you thought Mixer was a better choice for Twitch. Uh, just let us know a little bit about that. Uh, a lot of people were telling me that, um, as it was saying, Twitch was oversaturated and there was a lot going on with it. Mm. Uh, a lot of people saying it was, were saying it was a better idea to go try out Mixer, and I tried it out and I didn't I didn't like it too much because there's no way for those small people to make money. There's no way for those small people that want to subscribe to you subscribe to you on there. Right. And I just didn't like the way it was. Um, I didn't like the way you could stream off of it. Uh, you couldn't you couldn't really use what you normally used over on Twitch over on Mixer. Right. And didn't like the outcome of it okay so with that you're basically saying um so for the people who do not know uh, on twitch there's uh basically two big things which is uh an affiliate and a partner and affiliate is basically just like the the smaller start to where you're able to actually make money off of twitch so you're saying that there's no way that for like an upcoming streamer if uh so there's basically no affiliate program uh, on mixer is what there's, you're saying yeah there is no affiliate program on mixer mm. the only way to get money off of mixer is basically getting donations from the people that are watching you and that's always that are uh, hanging out the right and that's always hit or miss you never know if you're gonna if you're gonna get a donation exactly. or not exactly. and only relying on donations is is kind of you know it's kind of hard you know what yeah. i do like about twitch is that affiliate program and different things like that to where you can make money off of you know uh, people subscribing you know uh bits donations and everything and even if exactly. you aren't you know at that amount of money to be able to get what you know you have collected it saves it in a bank and once you have hit that point you're able to, you know, hit that button and everything sent off to you. Uh, so that's exactly. good. So working with that, after you did, you know, switch over to Mixer, you switched back to Twitch. How was that whole transition, you know, going from, you know, starting off on Twitch, moving over to Mixer, and then back to Twitch? Uh, how was it with, you know, people talking to you, uh, viewers inside the chat and different things like that? And, uh, you know, just people just being active and actually showing up to the, to the, the actual streams. It, it went it went pretty good. The people that watched me on my normal stream mm-hmm. followed me over to Mixer, and then when they found out I didn't like Mixer, and when I told them, "Hey, this is gonna be my last year on Mixer. I don't really enjoy it. I don't really like it. It's not giving me the feel I get from Twitch. So we're mm-hmm. gonna move back over to Twitch." And 
they all followed me and they were all still still hanging out in the stream and talking that's good uh and and with that um this was literally just announced today uh, with mixer uh ninja just got a a big deal with mixer <laughs> And it's just everything is it's exciting. Uh, I've talked to a couple of Mixer streamers and they are excited about it. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, with Ninja moving over to Mixer, it it's good for Mixer. It's good for Ninja. But at the same time, I don't think it's good for the smaller streamers that are over on Mixer because now everybody, they're going to watch Ninja. If somebody's on Mixer, most of the time, even though, you know, how it is on Twitch, whoever is the top person, most likely people are going to watch that person. So I do kind of feel bad for, you know, kind of like the smaller people. But like I said, this might be an opportunity to grow Mixer bigger than what it is. Uh, what do you think about the whole situation with uh, Ninja moving over to Mixer? Um, the whole thing moving over to, to him with the Mixer... Uh, I think it was a good choice on his note, but uh, like you said, I feel bad for the other small streamers that stream on there, and mm -hmm. they're not they're not gonna be able to get the recognition like we do, like we do don't on Twitch, right? Because it's it, now that now that he's moving to Mixer, Mixer's gonna be semi oversaturated now. Oh yeah, it'll it'll definitely get to that point. And uh, I don't know if you saw it, but um, Twitch got very very salty about what happened with Ninja moving over to Mixer, and uh, they took his uh, partnership badge away. Well, how how do you feel about that? Because at 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 a point, if you go and you look at Ninja's page, he is overqualified for the partnership, you know, you know, program and everything. And and they got salty because he moved over to Mixer and they took it away from him. It's it, it it's in weird. A, in a blink of an eye. Yeah. How do how do you feel I, about that? I it 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 seems like um, a good thing on Twitch. Uh, if you think about it, um, Twitch does have TOS. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it says that you cannot stream on another platform while you have your partnership or affiliate. Oh, see, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about yeah. that. Okay. It has, it has a TOS where uh, you cannot stream on a platform for less for more than 24 hours mm -hmm. uh, and being a partner slash uh, affiliate on Twitch. Oh, see, I never knew that. Well, I mean, I, I when I was looking at it, I was like, dang, Twitch is yeah. just salty. They just took it away. I yeah. didn't know. Uh, I know that, you know, Twitch does have their TOS, but I never really looked in depth with it. And I guess, yeah. you know, you learn something new every day. So I guess there was a valid reason why they did take the partnership away from him. So uh, maybe he'll get it back one day. Who knows? Uh, we'll honestly have to see how everything is. But because what's what it's saying on his on, on his mixer account is it was saying or the announcement he put out was I think it said that he was temporarily. I think is what it said mm, temporarily because... or I couldn't remember if it said temporarily or for the time being. I think honestly, it's probably like a deal maybe for like maybe like a year, maybe two years. Um, you know, you get paid a certain amount of money plus incentives to be able to stream on this platform for an X amount of time. Like it is like when, you know, he was on Twitch, uh, I believe like for him to play Apex, they paid him like a million dollars or something like that. Not 100% yeah. sure. That's just, you know, a speculation um, that he was paid a million dollars to be able to play um, Apex for, you know, X amount of time. So what I, mean, I what I what I think is unfair for Mixer mm -hmm. is nothing wrong with Mixer. But um, if you look on their Mixer page right now and their Twitch, their Twitter page, mm. they've got uh, they've got a header of Ninja's face and saying "Welcome Ninja" on it. Right. And they also have, uh, if you go on the website, they have uh, sus subscribe to Ninja for a limited amount of time. Yeah, it was like for free. Like I went on, I, I just wanted to yeah. check it out. And as soon as I went on there, it was like, yeah, subscribe to him for free for a limited time. I'm like, wow. Yeah. It it I I feel like personally exactly. it sucks because. I've never seen them do anything like this to their top mixer streamers. Exactly, so, their partners and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just it's it's unfair. Like, it's favoritism, obviously, because you know Ninja has such a big following. But I feel like still you should show something or or put something out that is like that for the people that are on top of your streaming yeah, exactly. platform. Like, so like they're on top of your streaming platform. Um, the other thing that's that's a little little different is, is I don't know if you've ever heard, but. Uh, I was talking to uh, at DreamHack. Back to the DreamHack situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking to uh, Microsoft. Right. And Microsoft has bought out Mixer. I did. Microsoft I saw that today. Owns, now owns Mixer. But what's cool is, is uh, I think I might be able to pull up the picture mm -hmm. um, and show you through the through the the ta the podcast mm -hmm. maybe around there uh, if I can find it. Yeah, but of course. Uh, yeah, so right here, uh, a lot of people won't, won't know who that is. There's a little glare, but that guy right there. Uh, that was James. He mm -hmm. was the owner of Mixer. Oh damn! So he was. I met him uh, when I was thinking about switching, uh, which was which was when I decided to when I talked to him and everything. Right. Um, and 
I was like, wow, cool. I was like, yeah. I was like, I met him and I got a picture with him and everything. Um, so th that was pretty cool. And then that's when I found out because he was a little like I didn't want to ask him questions about Mixer. <laughs> right. When he was looking at like Microsoft, he was a little quiet and like a little just looked at it, shaked his head and just walked away. Right. So I, I didn't understand it too much. Right. So, I mean, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's giving him, if it's him giving away half of his heart and half of what he loved to do. Well, it. I don't. I don't have this written down as a question, but um, I mean, we can tie it in together. It's. It's. If you follow the 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 situation with Optic, basically, and this is the, this is with 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 any company. Um, at a certain point, your company will reach a point of where it cannot grow anymore unless there's things that you can do to it you know i.e selling the company so uh, in a situation like that it, it's, it's completely understandable uh with him you know mixer is his baby and you know him partnering with microsoft to be able to sell that um i mean it's good for him but it's also you're you're selling a piece of your baby uh to grow so and and, yeah, exactly. and with that you're selling like before i don't i don't know how everything went with that but like for uh for example you know before he sold it with uh with microsoft he could probably do whatever he wanted to do with that now with selling with microsoft there's stuff that he is limited to do the stuff that he was able to do before because he was you know had full control of everything he's not able to do so you know there's ups and yeah, downs to doing what you want to do to make your company grow. Uh, with him, you know, I can't really say because I don't really know his situation like that. But, yeah, you can kind of see, like, that situation of, of him, you know, being like, I don't know, you know, not 100% sure on the on the situation. So, yeah. yeah he's got less he's got less say in it now. Oh, yeah. So. Switching and giving away his baby. Yeah, something that he started. I'm not, I'm not saying he's, he started it himself, but just, yeah, like, exactly. hypothetically speaking, something that, he, that you started, you know, you brought up. Have, he did have a duo with him, I think is what it was. He did have a buddy that was doing it with him that started right. it. And then they, I think, I think Microsoft bought uh, James's share of Mixer instead mm. of, instead of the other guys. Together. Oh, yeah, okay. Together, so. well, I mean, hey, it's business. Business moves. You, you exactly. gotta, gotta work a certain moves. way to, to, to succeed and stuff like that. But exactly. it, it is, uh, it is all good. Um, this has been a, a while since this happened, but I know I was one of the first people that you contacted when this did happen. Uh, I don't know if it happened since, and you know, if you don't want to talk about it, it's completely fine. I completely understand. Uh, but uh, getting your first payment from Twitch, like I said, you don't have to. You don't have to talk yeah. about if you've gotten payments. You know, ever since then, I just want to talk about that first payment and and that that feeling. Uh, you don't have to talk about how much it was or anything like that. I just want you to talk about basically that feeling of of what it was when you did receive that notification of your first payment, first hard work of Twitch coming into you know into into your bank account into your your PayPal account. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. Like looking at it, like I, I see it come up, and it's like you have your first payment from Twitch. I was like, "Holy cowboys!" I actually <laughs> did something. I had this many subs. It was amazing. We got that. We got that payout. Uh, it just felt great looking at a streamer because, like, with me, I thought I was never gonna make revenue off of off of Twitch, right. and that day I made revenue off of Twitch, and I was like, "Let's go." That's what kept me going. That's good. I think I think little things like that it always keeps the streamer going. Uh, whether it be you know getting your first payment from Twitch, uh, getting your first donation, even getting like you know your first subscriber. You know even though you're not getting that money immediately, just getting that you know that gratification of wow, someone really does enjoy my stream so much that they're actually going to you know subscribe and and help support me. You know try to make the channel as best as it could be. You know. Yeah. Exactly. I'm just. Yeah. It's it's wonderful. I absolutely like, it. and that's another reason why um, I'm actually I really like Twitch over Mixer. But I don't want to get into you know yeah. no feud Wait, no, of of, no, of too much. no feud no feud of which which is better than the other. You know, each one has its own little perks. Uh, but want but people, it is uh, down in the comments uh, posting, "Hey, Mixer's better than Twitch. We don't hey, want none of that. We, we, we don't want we, we don't want to have a war like the console wars. But hey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just saying. Hey, okay. I'm just okay. saying. Just hey, 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 it's all right. Keep it's it right. shut. Keep it shut. Yeah, yeah it's all right. But um, this next one is um, who slash what in, uh, inspired you, uh, which we kind of already talked about that with, uh, with, you know, Courage inspiring you, you know, to, to stream and stuff like that. So it's kind of like uh, who slash what inspires you. So just in general, um, like I said, we talked about Courage, but in general, who, who, who do you look up to? Who? Well, yeah, go ahead. There's, go ahead. There's, there's, there's honestly two with that question. Okay. There's honestly two people with that question that you ask. What inspired you to do 
all of this mm -hmm. well um the first one uh is uh, a long a long time ago uh, i used to watch and i still do watch uh there was a podcaster mm -hmm. his name was harrison heller okay and uh i've watched him for so long i've been in his stream for so long uh, i've been a sub to him for a few a few months now and um he was this this person right here. I actually got to meet him for the first Dude, time ever. I know. I, know, I watched uh, that guy on uh, on YouTube. I found him like randomly trying to figure out like yeah, like like that's, streamer that's, perks and stuff like that. That guy is awesome. I love that Harrison, guy. That's Harrison Heller. Uh, he's an amazing guy. Uh, real sweet guy too. That's good. Uh, what's pretty cool is is uh, I have never been in a podcast standpoint. I've never been on a podcast. I've never understand how podcasts work. Mm -hmm. Well, I was walking through DreamHack while looking at all the streamers on the wall and everything because there's like a bunch of streamers streaming like because there's like a way you can stream with DreamHack. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was there and I was like, holy cow. I was like, I know this guy. This is Harrison. And I like started saying hi to him and he was in the middle of a stream and he goes, hey, hey come here. Quick, quick, quick. I got some few, like, a few questions for me. So he brought me onto his podcast on his wow. stream with about 100 people and um, was just talking to me and looking over my twitch my twitch stuff my mm -hmm. of how it fell onto my streams and stuff but that's when i was in the switching towards mixer and he right. was looking at my twitch and he was also looking at my mixer and he was asking a bunch of questions of what inspired me what got me going uh that from that standpoint that was like an amazing day for me i was like holy cow this is the second day of dream hack and <laughs> i'm actually talking to him bro well this is crazy right and like that's the whole thing with myth too like meeting myth it was crazy too um and then my other standpoint of like me moving to from twitch and doing twitch and youtube mm -hmm. honestly bro 100 percent out of like no lie you've you've inspired me to <laughs> you don't it's have to say that you, man bro. it's been no it's been you bro like all the videos you've been uploading all the consistency you're just like man come on you gotta stay consistent you gotta right. stay consistent baby that's the one thing with you tony you never stop being consistent that's like, the thing you miss a day of video or you're sick bro you're just like god bro you let it get to you just like come dude on, that man. that like I that's would... like i don't stress about anything outside of, of of content if there's a day that that i really want to upload and i don't upload it really gets to me if there's a day that i really want to stream and i don't stream it does get to me yeah. uh it's just because it's just something that i i i really want to do, do. Yeah, yeah i love it you love to do it and it's not in in it, this is not just for you this is for for basically anybody that that i come in contact with um if you're a streamer if you're a content creator if you're doing anything basically my thing is i and i've said it in a podcast before i want to make other pe if I can make other people successful, I want to make other people successful. So if I see that there's a potential in somebody, I'm going to try to push that potential yeah, out. Uh, exactly. Like with you, I've tried to do that. I have other friends who have stopped streaming you know, momentarily, and I still talk to them about it. Hey, man, when are you going to come back to streaming? Are you ever going to come back? Different things like that. Uh, there's just like a, a special group of people that I really uh, not necessarily look up to, but I see a future in if they really put that time and dedication in. So that's where that's where all that, you know, just like basically just drilling that stuff in, like, you know, do it, do it, do it. And that actually goes into this next question, which is um, uh, knowing what you want, but slacking off. Now, um, I'm a big person on that. I've talked about this multiple times on uh, here on the podcast, here on the channel, on my streams and different things like that. Um, but I just want to know... Um, how do you feel about this topic? Because, like I said, I'm a, a big person that that is Slacking like that, and, and yeah, not doing it. Yeah, because like I like, like like for example, um, me like I'll know what I need to do or what I have to do to be able to get to a place that I want to be, and I think about that, but I don't do that action. I instead, you know, instead of actually going and doing it, I'm laying down on the couch watching Netflix, watching YouTube. I'm not actually making that actual effort, you know, towards doing the things that I want to do. So the the problem is is if 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 you fall into that of not not wanting to do it and not wanting to do anything at all with, with streaming and YouTube standpoint, you just you can't fall into it. Like it's you're bad. just going to sit like like if you're just like, "Nah, I'm going to stay asleep for another 2 to 3 hours and mm. I got uh I got off work today. I'm gonna sleep and I'll be all right. And, right. No, uh, you don't. You don't want that feeling. You, you want your feeling in your head to be, oh shoot, I got a day off. Let's go. Let's go to. Let's let's play for a little bit. Go to sleep. Wake up and grind all day. Right. And keep going and doing it consistently. You don't want to stop. Like if like if like you feel like you don't want to get out of bed, don't don't listen to it. Just like yeah, no. no. You just gotta you gotta lay back for a minute and just. 
push yourself up and not nah, we're going to stream let's go just, you gotta then suck it up click, when you click that record button or that when you click that streaming button you're just like hey what's up how's it going you get that hype in you wake up finally check some g fuel in <laughs> it, it, it's all good in in like i said i'm a big person of this because through that i i took like three months off of streaming for for no reason and every single day with those three months in my head i told myself i want to scream i'm gonna scream i'm gonna scream i'm gonna scream and i just never i never did it and and lately uh a lot of that you know kind of like that talk that you were talking about like you know you don't want to scream but you got to push yourself that's usually the hardest thing to do the hardest thing uh, let's just talk about streaming the hardest thing for streaming is actually getting up and pressing go live because once you press go live it is all it's all there you're like if you've been streaming for a long time you basically you turn into a robot you do what you have to do but the hardest point is getting up from what you're doing and actually pressing that go live button and i honestly now when it comes to that i'm like whatever even if i'm having a shitty day having a super super bad day i will get up and, and still stream because these last few weeks have like been amazing outcomes from me, you know, not wanting to stream, but you know, just saying whatever, uh, let's just do it, let's just grind, get up, press go live, and just start to stream. A lot of things have been coming out of that. So you really never know what is going to come out of a day of streaming. So if you wanna grind, grind, because like I said, you never know what is going to come out of that day. You never know what is gonna come up. So exactly. if you're- if Exactly, you're, like you never know, like you could be laying in bed and you're just like, nah, I'm not gonna get up. But you could go live that day and you never know, bro. You could hit that 20 viewers, you could hit mm -hmm. that 50 viewers, and you're just like, oh, okay, bro, this is actually happening. How's everyone going? What's up? How we doing? Right, Yo, right, right. All from stopping the stream, 50 people just came out of nowhere. What's up, guys? No host, no nothing. Exactly. Just, over the time you're streaming, it just people notice you that you're streaming. Oh, hey, look, he's noticing. Or, hey, you use a hashtag on Twitter and someone sees it. Oh, hey, sweet. I'm going to go check this guy out. And then you end up having a bunch of people in. And that person tells this friend, this person tells this friend, and then they just keep going and going right, and going. Right. It's that Yo, consistency. I found a good guy that's got that content. Come check him out, and they'll come over and check you out or check someone right. else out. All right. That's, hey, hey, like I said, it's consistency. You never know what's going to come out. You might get exactly. to 20 subs. You might get exactly. offered a, a, a spot on a team. You might hit a clip of your life that, that, that changes your entire life. You never know. Exactly. So if you have it in your head, get your lazy ass up. If you're listening to this and you want to stream, oh Do shit, it. a dog hair. Um, <laughs> if you're if you're listening to this podcast, if you're watching this podcast and you want to stream, you want to make a YouTube video, you want to start a business, you want to do something. If you're listening to this right now, get off of your lazy ass, <laughs> get up and do a step towards whatever you want to do trust me might not feel good at the time but once everything is done once you get to that final goal you'll look back and say shit it was worth it so it's gotta do it it's super it's super quick to start start an account for something if you got to an account for twitch it's super quick starting to start an account for youtube it's super quick hey, that's um, a step hitting it's super quick with pushing to get your affiliate if you're on every day you're streaming every single day you can hit that affiliate real quick all you got to hit is that 50 and then that have that three viewers consistently in your stream and you're just you're perfect you're good you're but no, it, it actually it has changed now um since the the time that we've both hit affiliate I believe they've it used to be just three things that you have to hit now it's like five things that you have to hit so they did add two extra things on there Ooh, what is it's, it now it, it's not i it's not um, it's not hard, but it is two extra things. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I was in one of my friends' stream. Uh, it's Durkis, which is going to be on the podcast very, very soon. Uh, and one of his um, people, one of his uh, uh, viewers, uh, they were asking, you know, what do you have to do to be able to hit uh, affiliate? I have those three steps, but for some reason, I'm not, I'm not there yet. So I went to check, and yeah, it was like two other steps that they added. But um, oh, wow. like I said, okay. not hard, not hard things, but it's just being consistent no you know what it is i think it's like tw it's like either 24 days or like two weeks you have to stream oh. consistently consistently okay, so yeah, every single one. day you one. have to stream so that it's it's understandable it's not hard if you really yeah. want it you'll you'll do it so yeah and falling and falling into that note uh a little bit more with the tos with uh whenever you become an affiliate you have an affiliate agreement if you stop streaming mm -hmm. for 12 months and just don't want to stream at all and you want to take a break like you could lose you could lose your uh affiliate ship with the, with twitch that's what sucks like before like i i used to think is like and i i know you've talked about it before too it's like oh you know with me not streaming for a little bit is is my affiliate gonna get taken away um how long does it take to get you know your affiliate actually 
you know, taken away from you. So it's good to know. Maybe I should go back and actually read the TOS because you're giving me a lot of facts, a lot of things that I've personally wanted to know about the TOS that I've never really like went in depth with. So that might need to be a read close in the future. So thank you for that one, my man. Of course, of course. So this next question, this is like a layered question. So this first one that I ask you, just bare minimum answer the question, okay? So okay. this one, teams you've joined. Just, I don't want to know anything oh. outside of, I just want to know from when you started, what teams have you joined? Don't go into detail with anything, just the names okay. of the teams that you've okay. joined so far. From the first ever team I've, I've joined was the Kraken Squad. Mm-hmm. That was the first ever team I joined. When I honestly I forgot started. about that. Like, yeah, like, I, I, like, I remember it, but like writing this stuff down because I have the teams that you've joined. I totally forgot about the Kraken Squad. So yeah. I have a question about that. Let me write it down real quick. Keep right, going though. Right. Keep going. All right. So you've got the Kraken Squad. Then, then from the Kraken Squad, uh, the Kraken Squad broke up, and um, I joined NATO. NATO Esports. Dude, oh my on. goodness, I forgot about that one too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, before, sorry, sorry, sorry. Before uh, NATO, I joined MWM. Mm-hmm. I remember that one. For a while, that was, uh, I can't remember what it, was, what, what it was. It was like MWM. I can't remember what their name was. It was like, and then uh, before, before um, I, after that, that's when NATO fell into play. Mm-hmm. And then after NATO fell into um, the, the team, uh, what was it? Um, I can't remember what was it called. It's been so long. What's it called? <laughs> motive. It was Fear Motive. This okay. was like, this is the team I joined after that. It was Fear Motive. Mm-hmm. And then um, from there, it's just gone on and on and on. Have you, what about the the new one? Oh, oh okay. Okay. Why are you throwing that just, out Just, here? I, because <laughs> right. I want to go in, I want to go into detail right. with right. that one. So we, just tell us the name from, from of the motive, team. From Motive, from Motive, I was a content creator, well, a player. And then I went from a content creator to a or content creator to a player and then from that standpoint uh i grinded my butt off i was in florida i went on vacation i was grinding i was ready to come home and stream well i come home and stream and the day i come home and stream uh i've been i was talking to people over twitter while i was on vacation uh people have said they've seen my videos been watching my videos well um i'm sitting in my stream and um i get a guy in my channel uh named it was i think stellar it was aqua so his mm-hmm. name was Aqua, and he comes in and he's like, "Hey man, how's it going?" And then after he came in, uh, a guy named Swisher came in the stream, and I was like, "Hey everyone, welcome to stream, guys. How we doing?" Well, from that standpoint, when Swisher came in, I ended up hitting like 18 people in my stream. It just was like a lot of people I, in the stream I, I out like, of nowhere. Cow. I was like, "What just happened out of nowhere?" I get this message <laughs> from all these guys just coming in, just stellar riots, stellar riots, stellar riots, question mark, stellar riots, multiple of those, and I was just like, "Okay, what's going on?" I'm like okay this is cool i'm just keep playing well i keep playing and then the guy swisher comes in and says yo boys what do you think about us picking this boy up (laughs) oh shoot i was like no way this is gonna happen like i was grinding for him and everything and um everyone was just like uh are you ready are you ready and then um the main guy swisher the lead the overall lead or Mm. sorry the owner of it swisher uh says uh, welcome to the family, brother. And I started getting all these welcome to the families, welcome to the families. And it just started having me tear up. I was so upset. I was like, holy cow. Uh, there's a video you can watch of it. Uh, I think on my Twitch standpoint, you can see it of me like all upset and all crying. Uh, it was just it's a good one. A it's great, a good one, a guys. Um, but from then, um, I, I posted in my announcement. Um, I had someone make me, one of the boys on the team, make me an amazing announcement. Uh, it went pretty good. Uh, I loved it. It was an amazing announcement. So what the announcement was, was, uh, me crying and basically saying uh, we did it boys and that's when my announcement popped up and from that standpoint I, that's when I tweeted out um, I've joined Stellar GG as a content creator slash streamer and um, that went from having um, that went from having about five five views mm-hmm. to it hit about I think 1,500 yesterday jeez so and I got about 62 likes and it's been going going and going and uh, all the stellar boys have followed me. Everyone's followed me, so it's been it's been pretty cool. It's been honestly nice. It, it shows you what a team can can actually do to, it, it, to that's what they were talking to about pump too. stuff like, up for you. Like I came in, I went into a, one of the boys' streams last night. Uh, my skin, mm-hmm. and I was just like, dude, I cannot believe I'm in stellar. It's been such a dream. <laughs> I never knew it was gonna happen, and 
he was like he's like dude he's like don't even worry about it he's like we're happy to have you in the family he's like that's what's up he's like he's like it, it got you emotional too he's like that's what he's like it's crazy to see what organizations can do actually oh yeah it, it really is for, crazy for what it does like people don't think it's does something to you but it does oh it really does man so uh going back let's go all the way back to uh kraken squad so yep. How did you get into Kraken Squad, and what was your experience? Uh, you don't have if you don't want to talk about it. Uh, I don't know if like anything bad with went within it. Uh, I mean, if you if you want to talk talk about if there was something that was bad and you want to talk about it, you can. But if you don't want to, it is completely fine. Was, uh, but but going to Kraken Squad, um, that joining process and actually being in there uh, and then moving on to the next one. How was that whole process with, uh, with was, that one? There was nothing ever ever bad about Kraken Squad. All right, so back to what you were saying with the Kraken Squad and everything. Um, the Kraken Squad, nothing went wrong with it at all. It was an amazing family. It was an amazing organization. Um, I was a, I was a, working up to be a lead, and I was kind of there recruiting people. I was helping run the Twitter, helping run the Discord. And um, it just it stopped, and the, the whole standpoint of it just got quiet, and mm. no one was ever active in it anymore, and no one was ever talking. It was making me upset, and uh, that's when it decided to. It was time to take a break. Mm. and um nothing's gone wrong with it uh, i actually still talk to the owner to this day that's good uh he's a streamer himself so it's been amazing um the whole team was based out of the uk area so it was oh, okay cool. okay so it's a little bit different from you know you being here in it the was, u.s it so. was a little bit different yeah hmm. but uh, nonetheless it was, i i still did enjoy like your screens when you were with them and when you did play with them so like i said exactly, from yeah. an outside standpoint looking in uh i didn't see anything bad you know coming from coming from them so yeah exactly uh, and then moving from Kraken into uh, into NATO, same thing, same question, just basically with NATO. It was it was good. Uh, it didn't end bad at all. Uh, I was a stream lead, and uh, I just wanted to. I was too busy with work. I was too inconsistent, and I had to give up my spot, and I ended up leaving. Uh, what were you um, recruited as uh, in, uh, in NATO? Stream lead. That's what's up. Yeah, I and was then, a content creator slash stream lead. Okay, and then you said after that one was, what is it? M- MWM. M- MWM. What about that one? Yeah. Oh, MWM. I was a uh, competitive Apex player. So oh, I do. do I remember that. I remember the. Uh, I remember the 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 clip that you posted uh, announcing that that you joined them as a competitive player. I actually do remember that. Yeah, I was playing as I was in mode of or MWM as a competitive uh, Apex player, mm-hmm. and uh, I just I ended up leaving that one because I wanted to go pursue Fortnite. Okay. Okay. And then. Moving over into uh, motive, and then for the people who 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 don't know, uh, I said it multiple times before. It's on my Twitter. It's uh, it's it's said in in YouTube videos. I've said it on my stream. Uh, I'm actually in fear motive uh, right now as a streamer. Uh, I'll go in a little bit uh, with that a little bit later. I don't know if I'm going to talk about that in today's uh, podcast necessarily, uh, but I did get into. I, I don't I don't even know how that whole thing transpired. Um, I don't know if you talked to them about that that whole thing. Just literally, dude. One day, I just it was it was like I said. One day, I didn't want to stream. I said, "Get your ass up, stream," and I, I got a spot. I don't even I don't even know what happened yeah. there, honestly, dude. Uh, but if you yeah. did talk to them, I, I do just want to give you a big thanks because um, it does feel good to be uh, in a team. But enough about me. We'll talk about me in a second. <laughs> you, same question, yeah. same thing. Fear motive. Fear motive. Uh, I joined uh, as a Fortnite comp player. Mm-hmm. Um, they i wasn't i wasn't going up to par of what they wanted so mm-hmm. they moved me down to a content creator uh slash streamer and i was okay with it because I, I knew i wasn't that that good at fortnite i knew i wasn't well enough good with that fortnite um so all that all that ended up happening and um i ended up leaving and that's where stellar gg came into play and that's what we like a great team yeah yeah absolutely and amazing team i'm actually i'm, I'm very happy uh, uh to hear that you did join i was actually in the stream uh when everything uh did go on and and it, it yeah. was awesome uh but if we can go back just a little bit um before stellar was even a thing um you were going for actually e- eclipse eclipse yeah so can you kind of talk to us about that that whole situation like what was running through your mind eclipse stellar um, which one to go through how you know your your you're basically so, your, your thought process was yeah so a lot of people were giving me uh support from eclipse and a lot of people were giving me uh, support from stellar mm. and um it was it was a lot harder to get into eclipse because they're they're a lot more like i guess high picky mm-hmm. of who they pick and 
Uh, Stellar's picky too. Like they, they, they. But the thing Excuse is, is they don't care about numbers. They don't care about mm. uh, who you are, what you are. They just care about how how big of a, how how good you stream, how consistently you stream. Okay. Uh, how happy you are with streaming. Right. What you want? How good you push yourself. Right, right, right. So, um, I mean, thus far, it hasn't even what it's been what two, three days so far. Two, three even? days, yeah, three days. Are Are you enjoying everything so far? Oh, in I'm Stella? loving it, dude. Everyone's That's so good. great. The whole group's great. Uh, That's good. That's I actually good. met my for, I actually met my Fortnite duo partner before. Uh, <clears throat> we won't talk about it. But Fortnite took away uh, <laughs> arena duos. We're kind of cracked about that and kind of upset about that. Yeah, I read that. Like in the in the in my team chat, I was seeing like they were complaining about that. It was like, oh, they took it out. They took it out. I was like, I, like you know me, you know me. I don't really play Fortnite you that play much. Pop, yeah. And I don't really play arena that much. I kind of want to get into it because I feel like when I play regular, like I'm just getting absolutely dominated on. So if I play arena, I feel like I'll actually be matched with people of my skill level. So I might try it out, but I just, well, I'm not really into Fortnite, you know, that much to, back, to look at all that stuff. Yeah. Back to that. If, if, if you're looking to start getting into arena, uh, we haven't, we haven't announced it yet, but I'll go ahead and announce it on the podcast. Um, actually me, me and my duo stellar SW, uh, we're actually looking for it. A trio partner hey, so we can if, have on uh, stream and stuff so we can have someone to play with and we've been trying to play trios we've been trying to play arena but since they took that uh, arena duos away we couldn't well and, uh i thought i think i think you'd get along with him very well because i've gotten along with him very well he's been calling me baby and papa and <laughs> <laughs> i think you'd like him he's, he's a quite, quite funny kid mm. uh, he's amazing i think you should see if you want to come try out with the arena for some of us i don't know I'll, I'll definitely try it out you know me i'm not very i'm not very good at it i do want to get better uh but even before we go like any further with uh with anything uh in the description if any of you guys listening to this are, are good at fortnite and and might want to play with them uh all of right stuff will be in the description uh i'll have his youtube his uh twitter his discord and hey, what am i what else am i missing you have instagram right yeah so everything, everything that you can find him at, I'll have all his stuff in the description below. So if you, if you do, you know, want to talk to him about that, or maybe you want to join Stellar and, and you know, you don't know who to talk to. You have rights to talk. So all his stuff will be, uh, will, will be in the description. But um, let's see. Still and on the I'll same. Send you, I'll send you to the right person. Of oh yeah. Who, who wants to see you grind? Who wants oh, to yeah. see you work? Who wants to see the work actually pay off? So uh, going into the same, uh, we're still in the same topic of of orgs, uh, favorite org, and you know, I know you are in Stellar. You don't have to be biased to say Stellar is your favorite org. You know, just just who, if you could pick one org out of all the orgs there are, who is your absolute favorite oh. organization right now, <laughs> bro? That's so hard, bro. It is. It is very hard. That's so hard. <laughs> you got a hundred thieves killing the game with courage. Oh yes, dude, and they're too and Ray and. You got everyone else killing the game with them. You got all those other people killing the game. Mm. But then you got FaZe over here Ooh. destroying the, the the comp seasons. Dude, like, destroying whew. everything. It's like neck and neck. Uh you got but I think I think the thing with, with FaZe is uh nothing wrong with nothing wrong with Hundred Thieves. I love Hundred Thieves too. They're 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 uh what is it? Their apparel is amazing, it's really nice. Oh, yeah. Uh I watched my favorite streamers on that team, so I watch them. But out of a hundred percent, out of all of it, of which is my favorite org, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with the phase up, baby. Phase, well, dude, I actually to. have a phase shaker cup, dude. I have I'm a phase shaker to, cup, I'm and have, I have a phase uh, scuff, so <laughs> I'm, I'm right a, there with you. I'm gonna have to go with it uh, because the thing is, is not, not a lot of you may know on this podcast that you're watching. Uh, phase actually, the World Cup was this was last weekend, um, and a lot of people might not know about it, but uh, phase phase clan actually picked up their first ever girl. Gamer. You, like, Ewok, right? That's her name. Ewok. Yeah. So what's what's cool about Faze picking up her is is um, she's 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 your average normal girl basically. Uh, but the cool thing about it is is she's a deaf Fortnite player, which is amazing. Which it's and crazy to see like she's how good crazy too. Crazy she is. She's like, good too. How like how like nasty she is without any sound or anything. Like she uses that visual effect settings on on the for, on Fortnite to actually play the game and mm. still gets. A, a, a number amount of kills which is absolutely insane which is which is where i, I want to stop you right there just because don't let something something I, I'm, I'm not saying you know her being being uh deaf is something small it's definitely something you know big and it does change how your life is but don't let a bump in the road stop you from what you want to do and where you want to be you know just just there there is some way 
the the road might be a little bit harder, a little bit different, but trust me, um, having a disability or, or, or anything else, you know, there will always be some type of way. And I think it was really good for FaZe to pick up Ewok uh, uh, for one, you know, not only being a girl, but also, you know, being, you know, someone who is deaf. Uh, I feel like that gives other people, other girls that are trying to get into orgs, gives them that little boost. And then, you know, maybe even other deaf, uh, deaf people, you know, who, who might have thought, you know, I can't get into an org because I'm not able to hear. That kind of gives them that little boost. So I think it was honestly a, a great decision for FaZe and and nothing but respect to FaZe and also nothing you know but respect uh, towards yeah, Ewok. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. On on that note with Ewok, um, there was a there was a deaf girl I saw on Twitch yesterday mm -hmm. and, or on yeah on Twitch yesterday and um, she had what was cool. She had a uh, basically. I don't know how you explain it with like someone that stands behind you. How do you explain that? Like, uh, mm. I, I don't understand how. I don't know how to explain it. I, I'm not 100 percent sure. A, on what. a translator, I think. That's okay. What it's called, right. I think it was a, a, a ASL translator. Okay. Okay. He, the the girl would look over at the translator and start uh, doing ASL sign language mm -hmm. and looking in, and the the lady that was standing behind her would talk on the stream. That's and actually if dope. They had questions. They she'd ASL it to the person, and then mm. she the girl, and then she. She'd ask, she'd answer the question. That's actually uh, dope. It's something them. different, you know. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a. Lot, it was a cool perspective to see. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, going into that, all respect. Grind your heart out to whatever you want to do. Exactly. Um, like I said, don't let anything hold you back. Uh, when it comes to me for orgs, I don't know, dude. Oh. I love optic, but optic is is falling apart. Falling. Yep. Little by little by little, and I, I I think I strongly feel that you know Hector will eventually leave Optic Gaming to start another org. I'm not a hundred percent sure. That. I don't know because you know Optic is his baby as well, but at the same time, like Optic is changing so much and it is continuing to change, and uh, we'll we'll see a lot more people leave. We'll see a lot more people join. So I feel like you know. At a certain point, personally, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I kind of have a feeling that Hector will eventually break off from Optic and and start his own org. Uh, but with that, uh, it's very neck and neck. I cannot choose. It's very hard for me. Uh, Optic Gaming and 100 Thieves, both right there. I love them equally. Those are my favorite two orgs. And uh, one of my dreams has been to join Optic Gaming. Uh, since that has changed a little bit because of how things are going, you know, with Optic at the time being, but uh, I'll still rep Optic until um, uh, until it goes down down to the bottom because right now, like I said, is it it is a very rough patch, uh, but I will still rep OG and I'll still you know. Everybody who is in Optic right now, uh, and the people who were in Optic who have decided to leave, I'll still support them. You know, just because they have five letters in their name, uh, honestly, yeah. doesn't mean nothing to them. I'll still support them, uh, with or without those letters in their name. So, on, yeah. On that on that note, you're talking about how Hector will will leave Optic, and mm -hmm. you got to think about it. Look what Courage did. Optic, yeah. Courage used to be what? What was what was Courage in Optic? I don't. I think he might have been. Uh, a con same thing content creator streamer so and then yeah you have him being a content creator slash streamer but also look at look at optic nade shot go back yeah. to that time look at optic yeah. nade shot where was he when he was optic nade shot exactly. look at this man now running a multi-million dollar esports team got not only that he's running a multi-million esports team he's got drake helping yes. him run it yes he's got a bunch of big big celebrities hey, scooter braun it. shout scooter out braun it Ariana Grande, mm -hmm. you got Fun. all of them looking at that. Look at that. Like he's, if if there was not a good a good person to fall in to an, a, a company like that, Nate Shot's the absolute perfect person. Oh, yeah, definitely. What, it, what what goes through his mind is, yeah, I'm a streamer. Yeah, I'll do content. But in his half of his mind is, all right, I'm gonna be a businessman. I'm gonna get this business running. I'm gonna get this business booming. I am the owner of a hundred thieves. So. I gotta pull something out of this. And what what a, a lot of people you know see is they think that you know a hundred thieves has has been on the scene for 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 not that long, but um, for the people who are like actual you know like you know true fans of Nate Shot, a uh, hundred thieves has been in in the works for a a very 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 long time. So it was not uh, something that was uh, you know done overnight. Nate Shot took a lot of years to to be able to get a hundred thieves exactly. uh, even started, uh, but to even have it where it is right now. 
now it, it, it's absolutely amazing absolutely amazing and you know nothing but respect to him and uh everybody on his team so yeah, uh, we'll have I to did. see we'll have to yeah, see what with, happens with, over there yeah exactly with with all that it's it's crazy what what, what it can do oh geez what just happened somebody is calling me let's cancel that so and my notes just went past because of that all right going back uh let's see a uh, biggest fear of the community that you're trying to to be in so uh to give an example uh me it, it, i don't know it's not necessarily a a fear uh but it's more of like I, i'm worried so there's a lot of people that i i look up to in this community um just like off the top of my head uh, and this is not this is not just you know the gaming side. These are just people that I look up to in general. Um, uh, Nate Shot, I would love to meet Nate Shot. Uh, Optic Hitch, uh, Optic Maniac, I would love to meet Courage. Uh, there's tons more people. Anybody Optic, let's just, let's just put it this way. There's a lot of people that I would love to meet, and you know it's inevitable that you know if you keep doing what you're doing, streaming YouTube, that you will get a point to where you are going to be able to hang out with them on a consistent basis, and something that is kind of, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's a worry or if it's a fear. It's just that I don't want it to be a situation like, you know, I go meet these guys. I've been looking up to them, you know, for so long that, you know, at, at the end of the day, they don't like me. Like, geez, like in my head, I thought I, you know, would be great hanging out with these guys and we would actually be friends to at the end of the day, them not liking me. I, I don't know if that will happen. And, and and I can't you know predict the future. I can't tell the future. But um, that's just like my biggest thing. I I am just worried that I'll go and hang out with these guys and and they won't like me. I don't, I don't necessarily think that I have something that will give them that vibe of oh I don't like you. I but like you know everybody is different. So you you never know until you meet the actual person. So that's just that's, me. Uh, what about you? That's where that's where the question falls. Where your question you basically answered it yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm scared that one day I'm gonna get as big as all of them and I'm gonna end up falling into it and um, they're not gonna end up liking me. Uh, with all that standpoint, what's crazy is, is actually there's a Twitch streamer, Symphony. Mm -hmm. we, we went to school together. Really? We went to school together and I never That's knew dope. it. Damn. I never knew it, I never knew it. And I, I, looked at, I looked him up and I was like, oh, okay, Symphony. And I looked it up, I found his real name. I looked in my yearbook and I go, holy crap, this kid was a grade below me. Damn, he was there the whole time, hey, grinding his life away. Just and for that I one never, moment, uh, boom, pop. Exactly, exactly. Now look at him. He's not going to school. He's he's a full time streamer. He's, hey. he's he's been hiding in his room for a while, but that boy's finally been coming out. Hey, hey finally, the grind pays <laughs> off. That's all I got to say, baby. The grind definitely he's does pay off. off. He's he's finally becoming a man too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, going on to the next one, this is a, a, another two-part question. Um, what are your your uh, big goals for uh, whether it be you know streaming, uh, YouTube, you know your life in general? Uh, we'll just start with those. What are your what are your big goals? Ooh, one big goal is is one day join Phase. That's what's up. That's what's one, up. One day, one day, I'm hoping it will happen. Mm. Uh, it just takes the grind. It's another oh, yeah. consistent day complete grind like oh yeah definitely that's that's one of the big big teams and that's where i like to be on one day mm -hmm. uh my other big goal is um to have have my own g fuel shaker cup okay like, okay that'd be that'd be dirty like having my logo right here as like riots and like having your own flavor and being 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 on one of the faces of g fuel mm -hmm. It'll be, it's, it's definitely something dope. Like you've seen um, so many people inspire new flavors and different things like that. So exactly for, like for you to be one of those people, that would be that would be awesome, bomb, my dude. Bomb Blast, Baja Cherry. Hey, sh sh keep, it, keep it on the low. Keep it on the low. You don't want somebody else taking your flavor, my man. But um, into the next Faze one. Berry. That was, that, that's another one, too, that they have. Faze mm. Berry. Uh, what, is your, what are your end goals? End goals? Yeah. Of, of uh, what, just, on that question, like on end goals of what? In goals of, of, of streaming, in goals of YouTube, and just in goals in general my, in life. My in goals of streaming and YouTube are streaming, uh, stream consistently every single day, um, start getting bigger and well known on Twitch, and YouTube starts start uploading consistently. It's just hard to get content out. It's hard to think of things, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot in, in play that I've been thinking of. Mm -hmm. What about uh, what about in just in life in general? What's 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 uh, a, a big end goal for you? Uh, one day running my own business, on, okay. honestly, learning learning how to run an org mm. and running an org like Nate Shot one day. Takes time, takes money, takes patience, but I mean, I mean, it is definitely... Honestly, if you're watching the podcast, we, me, and, me and Tony have talked about this a little bit, too. Oh, yeah. 
we have like one day what if me and you had our own org and we so ran very, it very much possible very much possible it's very much possible if if we if we stay connected like we do and we stay friends like we do through the through the road i could see it happening I, it, can, it can it can in maybe it might not even be with the org it could be with you know other businesses you you guys never know you're just gonna have to stay you, updated and, with us and uh see and uh, never, in the future you, you you never you never know me me and tody could end up having a full-on content house it could be living in a content house be roommates you never know you never know, you never know. You, you never know at all you will never know uh i basically asked that um moving uh I don't know why I wrote I don't know why I wrote this down, but like most of these questions came from uh, long ago when we were supposed to record this podcast. But you know, you know, every time something comes up, but it is all good. Uh, exactly. But moving from uh, where you were before to now, um, was there anything that changed? Anything big? Anything that you know? Uh, my whole setup. Mm -hmm. I, unfortunately, my whole setup was when I was moving. Uh, one of my monitors broke. So oh, dude, I, that I'm, sucks. I'm at a I'm at a, I'm at a two 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 monitor setup when i used to have three monitors was it a, was it a good one or is it a shitty one it was at samsung uh, i mean hey but still it's a monitor you still yeah. don't want your monitors to get messed up or, or yeah. any of your equipment to yeah, get messed up it does suck don't. so <laughs> it, does. it does absolutely um the next one is i literally i just wrote down youtube um the only thing that i can think of is like you're starting to do youtube uh, uh, a lot more con consistent now um, I don't want to ruin anything, ruining like plans or anything like that. Uh, but, uh, where do you see yourself going on YouTube? Like, is there, oh. is there any like certain oh, collabs bro, that you want to do any certain, you know, places that you want to go, things that you want to do specifically for YouTube? Honestly, bro, coming, coming down the line, I want to, I want to start doing gaming, gaming reviews, a lot mm -hmm. of games and stuff that are coming out. I want to do, um, a lot of like reviews on on weapons or items and stuff i want to do mm -hmm. um another thing i want to do is uh it's going to take a while it's going to take a long process but that 100 that 100 100k and then that one mil and i, I want I, I, I want to come for pewdiepie oh dude <laughs> what is he even I, I i don't i don't really watch pewdiepie i watch him from time to time i'm not um, i don't even I'm think i'm subscribed sure. to him but yeah if you don't mind looking how many subscribers does that man have right now uh, yeah I, I, that's what i was about to look at is he reigning YouTube champ right now, or is it uh, or is uh, it T series? Ah, uh, it's all good. We care more about PewDiePie, anyways. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. So you got PewDiePie at oh, how much? Ninety eight million. Ninety eight million. Jeez. Now that's a grind right there. That is and an absolute grind. You, you got. You got. Um, you got T series sitting at one point seven mil. Jeez, but sometimes I I do think about it. If YouTube took away all his uh, all of you know PewDiePie's inactive subscribers, I wonder how many subscribers he would actually be at right now if they took all of that away. Because obviously, I mean, even if you look at his views, obviously he doesn't have ninety eight million people watching his videos. So uh, I wonder where he would actually sit at if they decided to take that away from yeah. him. One and one thing right now is Courage JD's on the grill up. He's got one point six mil on his YouTube. His stuff just keeps growing, and and uh, I forgot the guy who um, who does his videos, but they are like the perfect combo. Courage's videos are absolutely amazing. One of the most entertaining people that I personally watch on YouTube, uh, and it's just gonna keep rolling. Just him, his team uh, of his editors, and you know people doing his thumbnails and the actual videos and everything like that perfect team right there and exactly. nothing but success to them they're they're doing exactly. great over there they are they are uh, uh, uh. all right uh let's see this next one is if you could wake up as somebody in the community who would it be oh, if i could wake up as someone in the community mm -hmm. bro it'd be shroud 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 bro that man is dirty with any game he plays see this thing i i I've watched clips of Shroud, but I never really like watched him. Watched him, so like I really don't know. I don't know much about the him. Only, I know he's a beast. The, I, that's all I know, honestly. The only thing is, is if you ever ran into him on Call of Duty, Call of Duty Tony, I'd run away quick. He's I'd good. Run away, I'd he's run away. I'd run away and hide, bro. He's he's hitting no scopes like it's nothing. See, he's like, hitting like, quick scopes like it's nothing. It's like I can't even. He's, I can't even snipe. This, I'm bad. This 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 boy's been practicing with Apex. Honestly, this man's been practicing with Apex. This man's been practicing with other things. Mm, and he's, uh, he's been practicing with PUBG. 
He's been going nasty. That's what I know him most from is, is PUBG. But other than that, I really don't know anything yeah, outside exactly. of that. I, I know like a little bit from Apex. I haven't watched any of his Apex gameplay, but I know he does play it. Uh, but uh, that's like, honestly what I've really been getting into is just watching Apex because I'm getting into that game so much. I enjoy it a lot. It's a, it's different, uh, a different, you know, change of pace i should say but uh it's very enjoyable and i'll probably be uploading some of those gameplays that i do have uh, and then i am going to record over on the gaming with banks channel so you know for the people who are listening if you guys want to check that out gaming with banks the link is always in the description make sure to go check it out um for me i, I couldn't say on that one so i think i'm gonna skip another, on that one so another another back to the story uh, or the back to the question of you asking me what i want to do with youtube mm-hmm. another thing i've been thinking about a lot lately is I've been getting into a lot of Minecraft with you. I've been getting into a lot of it with you. Dude, uh, I, I am think, in love with Minecraft. I think I think what I want to start doing is, is when we play on the world that we normally play on when we stream, mm-hmm. when we normally play on that, I want to start making YouTube videos of let's plays of mm. episodes of the of those of those of that world. Oh, we can definitely do that. I mean, it's already it's 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 pretty much I mean, we have a lot done on that but world we but there, we, there's still a lot more that we can do on we, that one the, the thing is is we have none of us have found diamonds yet none of no, us have no, found no. a single diamond Ch- chowder yet. found diamonds when Chowdered? you got off chowder found oh, diamonds dude he found, found diamonds oh I the, that little cave that we were in i had to leave because i i was going to get lost and so then that, do you have that do you have that cave saved do you know where that cave is? I don't know where that cave is, but but I did find a ravine close by to where our house is that we can go drop down, and there's most likely diamonds down there. So right. we'll, be right. we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good when might, it comes to might, that. We might have to check some of that in tonight. Oh yeah, of course, man. Um, and if, you know, for the people, are you going to be streaming tonight? That's what I got to ask. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. All right. it's so never not going to be streaming. Like if if you're on, we're going to be playing Apex. If you're mm-hmm. on, we're going to be playing Minecraft. Uh, uh, so on for. That standpoint. If uh, if you guys want to check out any of our streams, like I said, uh, everything will be in the in the description below. Uh, but going on to the next question, we have let's see, four more questions. Uh, this next one is artist slash album or song that helped you through hard times. Uh, mm. So for example, for me, uh, one of my inspirations is uh, Kanye West. I love Kanye West. I love oh, his music. God. I love his clothing, <laughs> everything. And uh, one of his albums that uh, actually helped me through a hard time was uh, Life of Pablo. And oh. even like if I'm having a hard day, if I'm you know just down in the dirt, I will listen to that album and that will take me out of absolutely everything. That Listening to that album actually won wants me to get off you know get up off my ass and actually grind away life so of pablo. oh yeah dude. life of pablo i love that album i love that album. all right so so the whole question with what album or what artist inspires me or pushes me when i'm in a rough time mm-hmm. bro i'm gonna have to say bro nf mm. nf bro he's got a song right now that he just put that he just did with his new album that where it goes but uh, every day i'm grinding non-stop and it's, <laughs> it, it, it gets me that feeling of when i wake up in the morning and I have my AirPods in. That's the song I push for. That's the song I listen That's to. That's what's up. Uh, I'm working hard every day. And then uh, another one's Logic. Logic mm. too. Oh, dude, I love song. Logic. I work hard every day. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I love Logic, dude. I've always been a so, a big that's Logic fan. Point of of me working hard every day to get where I want to be. Mm, understandable. I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, going into the last couple of things before we get into anything like uh, actual like games, games. Um, I know you talked about it a little bit, um, but being just doing something with like a uh, razor and like streaming for razor or something like that. Do you want to go into detail with that? If you don't want to talk about it, completely fine. I I, I, don't, I can't say anything on it because I'm not too sure what it is. I okay. just got an email one day that says you're now a hashtag razor streamer mm-hmm. and you're a rising star tier. Okay, so maybe on a on when you return to the Banks cast, maybe we'll have a little bit more information on uh, on that one. Maybe, yeah. But uh, the next one, and I know you will go into some great detail on this one, is uh, GTA RP. Let oh, us know. Oh, I know oh. nothing about this. I oh, watch boy, it a don't. little bit. I don't really know anything about it. But uh, out of all my friends, you are the one who actually grinds RP uh, the most or actually grinds it in general. So you know so, the most about it. Let us yeah. know. Let us know so, your endeavors, everything that's happened oh thus far. Oh, God, bro. This is so oh, much, me. bro. I'm about to go. Uh, all I can say now is grab a drink, grab some popcorn, <laughs> <laughs> grab a blanket if you're cold, because we've got to be talking for this for about 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here we go. 
So there's the, the, there's that game GTA. Everyone knows it. Everyone plays it. It's, you rob vehicles. You rob stores. You shoot people. It's fun. <clears throat> um, on that standpoint, there's a um, new thing that's come out called 5M mod, where you're basically a real life mod where you're playing as real life. So what you do is, is you hop in one of these servers and you play these servers and you're, you're, all, you're, you're a character that you make. Well, the, the there's the no pixels. There's a lot of that. There's that where all the big streamers go. Uh, me, I've been playing on a lot of, it's, it's going to be weird to say, but I've been playing on a lot of an Australian server. Mm. So it's a little far, but it's a little fun. So if you go in there, you, you get a bunch, you get to pick a bunch of cars. There's actually like real, real life car dealers, uh, real casino, um, real groups of real people talking and you being your own character and you can't ever break RP. So with that, all that's gone down the line, uh, I guess I can introduce my character. My character's name is Tyler Lazaro. Um, <laughs> he started off from multiple long stories of stuff. Um, he had a brother, Tony, Tony Lazaro that worked in, um, GT autos worked as a dealer when he first came into the city. Uh, then Tyler came into the city, uh, two months after being Tony, mm-hmm. um, down the road. Um, Tyler's always been a quiet guy. Never talked to anyone. Um, never been real quiet. Everyone thought he was a snitch to the police. Uh, <laughs> it was it was fun. Uh, down the road, everyone didn't trust Tyler. Didn't believe in Tyler. Well, um, a few months ago, uh, some big stuff started happening uh, with a lot of crazy fun stuff. Where I met a bunch of new people. Uh, guy named Pinga. Uh, he goes by Adam. Uh, girl named Kira. She goes. Um, she goes by I think it's Hey. Uh, then you've got. Um, all the other boys, you've got Jason, uh, you've got uh, Slater, you've got all of them. Um, in that standpoint, uh, we all clicked. We all became a good group. Uh, mm-hmm. I gained trust from them, and I'm in the group called Sicario. We're basically the Mexican, car- <laughs> we're the Mexican cartel of the server. Uh, we're the top number one running weed in the in the in the in the city of Australia. RP. Right. Uh, we make our money from that. Uh, we all have big cars. We all have fast cars. Uh, we're getting a lot of police chases, getting a lot of robberies, <laughs> getting a lot of fake heists. Um, cops know know us well, even if we're in disguise, they know us well because the way we drive, the way they see us drive, the way we try to get away. Um, a lot of that standpoint. Um, let's just say Tyler is right now. Um, not even gonna lie to you, he's o. He is uh, sixteen and o of police chases. He's never Jeez. been caught in a police chase. <laughs> he's always gotten away. Uh, that man rides. That man rides a bike um he drives a ninja it's a, a fast little bike in australia but now he's been now he's now that so back to what all that he, he now drives a new bike uh a few weeks back um a lot of people were complaining uh a lot of people were bothering the staff making the staff angry so the staff basically said uh we're tired of it um the city's getting a fresh new wipe mm-hmm. everything gets taken away everything gets taken the only thing you can remember is your memory <laughs> and what you've done in inside the city so you, they people have lost their cars people have lost their planes people have lost their helicopters people Jeez. have lost everything all of their money uh no one's no longer a millionaire but over everybody time, got this, thanos man <laughs> every, exactly and, but after over the time we've become we've back to becoming millionaires uh we're all millionaires now we're all sitting with good money um i don't think anyone yet uh with the new the new gta update there's a new casino uh in in the rp server there's a there's houses where you can put your stuff in and apartments and stuff and like food and stuff. And uh, there's a 800K casino um, penthouse. Mm-hmm. So you can have an 800K casino penthouse, which you have to work towards. Okay, okay. Anything else? Um, all the cars, you get to have your own names and stuff. And uh, basically, you get to rob, rob, rob people. Or, and if so, it's a whole storyline of stuff that ends up. So if like someone uh is going on with something it turns into that it, it turns into but uh there is a big thing going on right now in that city right now so mm. after after the wipe uh a bunch of new stuff came into play with a new biker gang a new mafia gang a new uh strip club gang uh what's 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 crazy is is the big mafia that is in the game right now uh the sicario and the mafia are starting to get into it mm. uh, we've been We've been shooting them up at their business location. We've been Jeez. doing everything. Savages. Uh, we've been taking them hostage. We've been doing this, doing that. Uh, we've ended up in jail multiple times. Mm-hmm. Um, before the whole thing has happened, uh, Tyler got the nines, which is 99.99999 months in jail. Jeez. Until he was in a hearing trial. Mm-hmm. And basically, um, the case was for the murder of uh, a, a character in game. Mm-hmm. And... Um, 
Tyler got framed for it. It wasn't him. Um, so after all that, it's ended up with Tyler had 9.9999 months in jail for no reason. Mm-hmm. And the PD felt bad. So Tyler ended up getting 2.6 mil. For, from- oh, geez. I mean, hey, profiting from it. Falsely, uh, falsely accusing from, uh, from uh, uh, a crime, putting somebody in jail. So basically rp is if you ever if you enjoy gta basically if you enjoy regular gta online so basically rp is just gta online but on steroids and you can just do much much more honestly i feel like what they've done with rp i feel like that's how they should set up uh gta 6 and i know it's going to be a while before gta 6 does come out but just how intricate uh gta 5 or gta rp is i feel like that's how everything should be with that but um moving on from gta fortnite which is this is our last question uh how do you feel about fortnite how have you been feeling about fortnite we have this new update uh you've talked a little bit about you know fortnite you know throughout the podcast and stuff like that uh me not a big fan of fortnite i will play it from time to time but uh if there's anybody you are the man that i come to for fortnite so why don't you l- let us know how you feel about this new it's, update it's good but it's not good it's mm-hmm. These these new mon- these new robots in the game are crazy stupid. Like, I don't even know <laughs> why the heck they're in the game. They have rockets and missiles. You Jeez. can literally shoot and destroy someone, and it takes for fifty. You can knock someone out with their sh- with their shield and their health automatically. And kill mm. them. I just don't like it. And uh, the- with the new update, they've taken away the split streams. They've taken away the ballers. All that you have left now is the hoverboards. Also, that's what they were talking about. Like like mobility. Like there's like. You there's can't no really. Mobility. You there's can't no like the with the slip streams and everything. It was like rotations. Like that was like yeah. your main rotation thing. Yeah, and there's not anymore. And that sucks. Well, I mean, I guess the, we'll does. have to see how everything does go. Uh, I, I assume Fortnite does everything for a reason, but who knows how everything uh, is going with Fortnite? But um, other than that, Absolutely. my boy Riots, that is all. Um, those are all the questions that I have for you. So I am going to be ending this episode of the Banks Cast. But before I do in this episode i will let you guys know that all of riot's stuff uh his twitter uh, his twitch uh, his instagram discord all of his stuff will be in the description below uh as well everything uh for me will be in the description below if you have missed any of the episodes of the banks cast uh there will also be a um, a link for a playlist that'll have every single episode of the banks cast i'll probably have that as the first one at the very very top other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode of the Banks Cast. It was episode, I believe, 19. Everything is good. I have people lined up for these next episodes. Uh, the reason why I didn't have anybody on as a guest is because I have been wanting to get Blake on here as the first person, you know, getting back into guests, so everything will be good. But if you guys did enjoy today's video and want to see more podcasts, you guys already know what to do. Make sure to smash that, that thumbs up button. Also, if you are new to my channel, you guys already know what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you are there... Make sure to press the bell button right next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time I do upload. I'm Tony Banks, accompanied by... AK Riots. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Boom. Alrighty, that's what I'm talking about, baby. It's in that's that. That's what I'm talking about, dude.